My dear wife, if you are reading this, it means our mission has been compromised. I promised myself that I would never drag you into our affairs, but I must bend that promise. Hello everyone, it is I, your friendly neighborhood loot door, El Phenomenal here, and off in the ether somewhere is my ever valiant sidekick. Hello everyone, it is your future MMA champion, uh, Avion here. Avion starring. Uh, uh, nice See, to meet you, and nice to have you here. He's even emulating my intro, what a great sidekick. And today, after months, after months and months, we are back with Kurda. I don't even remember what I haven't I happened last time. Do you remember? I don't, uh, no, I'll be honest, no. All I remember is long. that we ate chocolate. <laughs> I got kicked out of our friend's house for stealing a pig. <laughs> oh, sweet, that did happen. Yep. So, let's see. I need to convince Mr. Vestergaard to help free Anders. If he won't offer aid, then who can I turn to? Oh, no. Oh, Anders God. Is this die. this is where we were. Okay. Yeah, Anders, Anders is Anders dead. Anders is gonna die. Anders is gonna suffer today. The hell just happened? Did we just... Was that a bomb? Up? Yeah, that was definitely ahead. a bomb. Oh, it's just oh. okay. That was foreboding. Incredibly so. What's going to happen? What is? Oh, it's a car crash. Or is it? There is a crashed car, Avion. Yeah, I know, but like, maybe it was like, you know, not an accident, but more of like, something went down, and then the car crashed. Alright. Did you still consider that a car crashed? Oh no, a car accident. I need to get to the banquet, but I can't just bike past these poor folks in good conscience. I should see if yes, there's can. anything I can do to help. She is a nurse, you fool. Ever oh, heard of the it. Hippocratic Oath? Yeah, yeah. Fucking god. Crash car, the front has been completely smashed in by the tree. How fast were they driving this thing? Approximately 40 miles per hour. There aren't any skid marks though. Or maybe there is in the that game. That means they didn't stop. It. They just kept driving. Shh, shh, darling. It's alright. Ah, Mahong. It hurts. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's your best impression of a hurt child? You suck! <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible! <laughs> Is he bleeding anywhere, Mom? No, no, I don't think so. But please, we need to get him to a doctor. Wow. Or a nurse. Oh, that moronic driver! He hit my son with his car and then crashed into that tree up there! Who even drives at these speed? Who even drives at that speed over these slippery roads? Hey, Avion, you're so loud you're peeking your mic, brother. I, I don't know where my mic is supposed to be at! I'm oh sorry. no, it's your audible, you're just yelling too loud. Oh, I okay. Uh, oh, wait, I know you. You're the nurse who works at Dr. Lindholm's clinic. Mrs. Larson, right? Please, help my boy. No, I'll let you say, say his. The boy appears to be fine. He's just making a big fuss over nothing as children do. He only got hit by a car. He'll walk it off. Back in my day, we got hit by tanks. Oh my god. <laughs> Did they even have tanks back in your day? Yeah, they had tanks in World War One. You should go check oh, up yeah, on Yeah, but that's... <laughs> you should go I'm guessing check up his on day them. was even further. 
True. You should go check up on the driver instead. He seems dazed. How dare you! My son needs treatment, immediate treatment. Oh uh, wait, I, I'm actually pretty. Uh, I'll go see the driver in a moment, of course. No, the boy is the victim here. He got hit by a car. Well, yes, but like. I think I, this means, oh yeah, I'll focus on the driver in a second. But this is like, no, fuck the driver for now. I think one. Well, yeah, but like, I feel like both are, fuck the driver. I don't know. I feel like both are fuck the driver. I feel like uh, saying the second one is just like, you know what? Second is more neutral. One is in more supports with the child. Yeah. Alright, fine. Be in support of the child. The boy is the victim here. There you go. You're absolutely right. You're both being hysterical. He's fine. Boys are tough. <laughs> Jesus oh. Christ. He oh, literally he's, he's, is he's back in the day. He's a fun dad. Are you saying I, Oh, nice occupation. Are you saying I can't tell when my own child is suffering? Oh, God damn it! I'm screaming again. Oh, my poor boy. Let me have a look at him. My poor, poor boy. Shush, I won't hurt you. Just look into my eyes for a moment. The boy quiets his sobs and blinks for a moment. Then he stares at me, his eyes still wet with tears. Hmm, he seems lucid enough, no signs of any concussion. Now I'm just going to check if anything is broken, alright? But boy, the boy nods solemnly as I examine him. He recalls in pain just as my hand reaches his left wrist. His wrist is sprained, but luckily it doesn't seem to be worse than that. Oh, thank goodness. Can you do anything to ease his pain? Fuck no, I can't. Don't use that shit. Let's see. <laughs> I have... That's it. <laughs> How many? Oh, I only have you one have medical, one medical supply. supplies. No, you can't yeah, use good. anything to use this pain. Get into the clinic. He'll be fine. You, you will, will drive them, right? Yes, yes, of course. What kind of men do you take us for? Says the Nazi soldier. Thank you, Mrs. Larson. You're very kind. Keep your hands off me. Oh, what is he getting himself into? Please, Mrs. Larson. My husband and I aren't from this region. Oh, his German skills are quite poor. Could you... Could you go make sure that he's alright? I have to stay here with my son. Of course. Excuse me. Alright. His face is red and splotchy with anger. You can't do you this. You can't do- oh. You'll be pleased to. Uh, you can't right. do this. This is an outrage. I guess I'm the German people now. <clears throat> Sir, calm down. I don't speak Danish. I can't understand a word you're saying. Goddamn foreign soldiers. You, you're German. Why aren't you telling him what happened? Tell him it was your fault. I, uh, I'm sorry, but I... I oh, he's shifty. Here. Ask in Danish, fuck the German... I mean, wait, wait <laughs> hold on. Check your, check your things. Check your things. Check your uh, hearts up there. Uh, Ask it, German. Alright. What seems to be the problem? The Danish father turns to me, face livid. Oh Christ, not another one. There's nothing, it's you, nothing need, you need. Get your Jump. mouth out of here. It's nothing you need to concern yourself with, Ryline. Although it has been tremendously difficult to get through to this man, perhaps you could help explain the situation to him. 
You do speak Danish, Ja? Ja, not Ja. Goddamn, dude. I said Ja. It's Ja. No, it's Ja. That is definitely Ja. That it's, is Ja. It's Ja. I have listened to German. I have talked to what? That, I, are you kidding? No, I've definitely heard people say Ja. Oh my god. Okay. Are you we are positive? Pausing for, I'm pausing for this. I'm finding this out right now. Yeah. 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 You scrub. Fuck. Why is it in German? Yes, in German. So confused. Why would they put a J in front of it? It's another put language. Put a Y, you fucking... It's another language. You foreign motherfuckers. Wow. You really are American. So... Say it correctly. I'm also a foreigner. Uh, yeah. You do speak Danish, yeah? Indeed I do. What, speak Danish? You speak Danish? I demand to know what's going on here. This man and his family were driving in the middle of the road with hardly any lights on. Lights? I understood that word. Is he complaining about the lights on our bikes? I'll tell him that's the fault of the damned occupation's blackout rules. We were driving with as much light as we could. The unfortunate gentleman next to me. Unfortunate gentleman. I. <clears throat> next, <clears throat> next to me couldn't swerve his car in time and rammed into the tree down the road. I. I c couldn't see them. <clears throat> they just came right out of nowhere. Now I'm trying to explain to this Danish fellow here that he needs to pay a fine to cover the damages. Oh that my god, fuck that. That is, that is stupid as fuck. What about the boy? An unfortunate incident to be sure. My thing froze, give me a second. And we're back. But hardly the fault of this gentleman. What was he to do? What's he saying? He says he needs to pay a fine for the damages incurred to the car. I have to pay a fine? The German bastard who was driving this car is clearly drunk as a skunk and he was way, way over the speed limit. Let's check out the driver. Yep. He's reeking of liquor and his eyes seem to constantly blaze over. I don't think you sustained any injuries. Are you drunk, sir? Drunk? I, <clears throat> I, I'm no such thing. <clears throat> What's a blatant lie? He's clearly drunk, sir. Who's to say? Doesn't change the scenario a tad. Yes, it definitely fucking does. What the hell? Just tell this man that he needs to take the fine or we'll be forced to arrest him. Hold on just a second. Oh boy. Nah, I wish we had wits. Let's try it. Wait, wait, wait. Ask the trip. Oh, fuck. So much for the noble Wehrmacht. Just tell him to take the fine. He insists that you pay the fine. This is... This is ridiculous. I don't have that kind of money. I agree, officer. It's not fair. We'll calm down and take it. No. Uh, no, I, I ain't gotta officer. fight. But what can we do? We've already lost our ramble. We'll have to see. Uh-oh. I won't take this anymore. Oh, fuck. Okay, Ooh. we should have made him pay. What do you think you're doing? That was a weak ass slap. I'm arresting you for assaulting a member of the Wehrmacht. Uh oh. Where? Where? Wehrmacht. Uh. <laughs> you animals. Oh god, we we going in this too, dude? I can't see anything. What's happening? Maybe Discord is just discording. I am in Nigeria and you are in Japan. Hold on. Be quiet or we'll take you in too. Did anything go up or down with ah? Resistance Cuff went up, occupation went down. Hey, wait. 
What's going on? What are you doing to him? Your husband is under arrest for assault. Why would you punch someone? We're taking him down to the station. But we... There must have been some kind of mistake. No mistake here, I'm afraid. He's smugly happy for this month. Now come along and you and the boy can accompany him to the station. This seems like bullshit. You had best be on your way as well. Hmm? What a miserable business. But there's nothing more I can do. I need to get to the banquet. I've already lost too much time here. We fucked up. Wow, what a depressing scenario. The fucking drunk man went over, hit the fucking child, rammed it into a car, I mean, into a tree, and then... And the gets away person he hit has The person he hit has to pay the fine. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, imagine that shit! So a drunk rams you and then you're like, oh, well, I mean, it's your fault. Like, the fuck? <laughs> Welcome to the occupation of Danelund, or Denmark. It seems the entire t town has arrived for the banquet. It's my best chance to see if Mr. Vestergaard will help Anders. I will have to convince him. How on earth are we going to do that? I arrived at Vestergaard's manor, eager to see if I could persuade the local mag magnate to help Anders. If anyone in this town has leverage over the occupation, it's, it's him. Leverage your leverage. Use your leverage is what I mean to say. This seems so much bigger when I was a child. Margaret and I tried to use that as an ice rink. How is he going to use that as an ice rink? By being very small. It's so small. This damn car is starting to remind me of a hearse. I want to scratch I... it, but I'm afraid there will be consequences, so I'm leaving it alone. Yeah, consequences suck. That's something I would do as a DM. <laughs> like, oh, you scratched this car and someone watched you do it. You're fucked now. I know. <laughs> my breath itch hitches in my front. Uh, my breath itches hitches in my throat as I approach the front door. I'll be honest, I read that incorrectly. Greatly. Is this Welcome the person the that? Star, yeah, Mrs. Larson. Is this the doing? person that kicked us out last time? I think. Hell it is. yeah, I am. What you back here for? Wait, why is he being so friendly? I guess she's May just. Take... It's her job. May I take your coat, madam? Sure. Yes, please. Holy. What the fuck? When the fuck did she put that on? <laughs> I didn't... I don't think I've ever seen her without a coat. Yeah. I'm... Alright, cool. Well, don't you look nice. <laughs> yes! Yes. Okay, Vera? Oh. Ah, Gerda. I'm so glad you were able to attend. Joseph Jacob, I mean... I know you might not be in the mood for reverie at the moment. But this will be a great opportunity to convert Mr. Vestigard to your cause. I hope he's able to do something. I'm going to need a drink or whatever helps Sanders. I'm going to need a drink. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would have negative consequences. No. Yeah, no, no, I hope he's able to do something. I, I hope he's able, able to do basis. something. He is Tingle's most prominent citizen. If anyone can bestow aid, it is him! Or hurt your husband further. Carl Arson, welcome. Can I offer you a refreshment? I out my nerves, but I need to keep my whips about me. Well, do we want to get drunk or not? No! I, I, uh, <laughs> no, 
Ah, nah, definitely not. Not right now. What about you, dear Pasta? Yo, how's she able to keep the tray floating like that whenever she talks? What? Watch her hand. Was he moving? I need to. Ah, that's very kind of you, but as uh, you know, I don't drink. I'm afraid champagne is too prickly for my throat. I have no idea what the fuck that means. Well, I don't suppose you might be able to procure a hot toddy. Do you know what a hot toddy is? Oh, did you see it? There it is. Yes, I. Oh, <laughs> Sick, that's awesome. <laughs> Hey, hey, Dev, you found a bug at the game. <laughs> oh, man, she, she, she is clearly a Jedi. Uh, certainly. I'll ask in the kitchen. What is a hot toddy? What is a hot toddy? I want a hot toddy, you know. It's enough! Hot toddy. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you stick around to see more of what I make. Be seeing ya.